Did you find much pushback when you decided to redo the tech stack at the Zeta Group? Um, because obviously you took a lot of partners that you'd worked with previously yeah. from different projects and, you know, you put that in. Was, was that quite an interesting time? Um, so any tech stack change is, is complicated, right? Because, um, yeah, like you said, you get pushbacks, you get complications, you've got your transactional data, which means you've got customers and everything else. We did that end of April 2021, which we were still in lockdown here in UK. Well, not, it wasn't for lockdown, it was just hospitality was still not able to operate, not allowed. So we were lucky in that timing where we had no customers, so we were able to do it without any kind of new booking in the or payment or anything like that. We just stopped everything, changed and everything else. From a staffing point of view, that was also kind of odd and not odd because hmm, we came in as, as kind of new owners, new operating company, new owners of, of the brand and, and the buildings um, in March, and we changed stack in April. So it meant that, oh, there's new owners coming in. We're not open yet. We haven't really seen each other in person yet. We've done so many Zoom calls. We all spoke about things online, right? And then suddenly, you know, LV, the new owners are, are changing these things. So it's, I don't want to say we had pushback, but we had certainly, I think, concerns from people because suddenly they felt like they're not on site. They can't touch these things. They have to do all the training online and, and you know, all, all the things that follow through that, it was suddenly digitalization of the business through digital means while still sitting at home on Zoom. You know, so it was this kind of like changing how we do things without doing things because we're not there and we're not going to be opening for another month. You know, so it's this, yeah, slightly like odd thing. But we had a bunch of people very much supporting the vision that we had because I, from various experience, took a lot of time to explain my, my ideas, my vision to the team here because I knew that if they don't buy into that, uh, we will fail, right? You can have yeah. the best piece of technology if people are not using it, then well, it's just a waste of money straight away. Um, how do you keep your team motivated? What, what would you suggest to GMs and people out there that are looking to motivate their team and keep them you know, I, going? I'm always aiming and working hard and trying to keep myself grounded as much as I can. And what I mean by that is I sense check myself. Right? I check with my colleagues, whether it's people reporting into me, people that are on my level or people above me, to see whether I'm doing the right thing. If they feel they can trust me, I think. And, and I ask those questions quite often. I ask this person or that person, you know, do you think I did the right thing? Do you think I made the right decision? Uh, so that's one of the things where I think I try to show them I'm, I'm, I'm a human, I, I make mistakes, I make bad decisions, and, and I always aim to make good decisions. You know, that's, that's at the core of it, that whatever I do, whatever, whatever decisions I make is for the best of our team, best of our customers, best of business as a whole. And, and with that, sometimes it's hard decisions when you, know, you can't necessarily you know, start giving pay rises left, right, and center. But, <laughs> but you need to, you know, with, with that comes a certain amount of kind of vulnerability where you say, well, we, we can't do that because because of A, B, and C, and, and you show the numbers and you share information. So through admitting that you're not just being nasty to them, you're not just saying no for, for no reason, that there's, there's logic behind the sense. So I think part of way, my way of, of admitting that, that I'm, I'm a human just like everyone else, that I also sometimes you know, struggle with certain decisions and, and certain situations that, that we all experience that it does affect me as well. I hope they see me being part of that business as well, that, that I am part of a team, that I, I don't ignore things, that I'm not somehow above or, or removed from, from the team, that I'm, I'm part of it. And, and I think that unity, that, that honesty is often the best medicine to just keep things moving. Because again, not to mention any names, uh, you know, I work with these bosses that are kind of like, I'm the boss, I'm not, I'm not going to get involved in this, I don't think you know this, I don't do this, I don't do that. You know, I've, I've seen those people and just, yeah, that's the motivating thing from for everyone. So I'm trying not to do that. I try to be one of the people. Yes, I'm in charge, and I've got a lot of you know responsibility and accountability on my shoulders. And, and I hope everyone knows that. But at the same time, I'm I'm also human. I'm part of a team. So yeah, yeah. I that's, think that's I my think way. When you can't have fresh ideas and your team can't come to you and say, "Look, you know, yeah. I've seen this, or I've done this, or could we try this?" You know, if you're approachable, you can get those new ideas, and you can have you know whatever new system or new yeah. process in place and you can improve if you're stagnant and you're like you know don't talk to me this is the way we've done it kind of kills yeah. that off doesn't it and then people yeah. start to look for those opportunities elsewhere there's there's a lot of strength in sometimes admitting your own personal faults and there's a lot of strength 
in creating an environment for people to speak their minds. Yeah. It not, might not always be pleasant to, to, you know, to bring up something that bugs you or something that maybe they are not happy with. And it's not always pleasant to hear those things, right? Because, because we just want to hear good things, positive things, achieving results and all that. But, but again, through tackling and openly talking about the struggles, the difficulties that, that we all might have um, as individuals, I think that that creates trust. I think it creates a certain following where people feel like the environment is better because it's honest, because it's true, because it's human, rather than just kind of corporate black and white numbers only based environment. So I, th- I think that's that's why I try to you know motivate people by, by being myself, by being human. Yeah, I've had some amazing bosses, and in most of those places, my bosses allowed me to be myself. You know, very rarely did I hear things like "Don't do this, don't do that, don't dress this way, don't talk that way." You know, there was very little kind of attempt to put me into boxes or frames of, of how they saw the world. And, and I think that really helps because if I feel myself when I come to work and if I can talk the way I talk, dress the way I dress and behave the way I want to behave, um, then that means that I can, well, be myself, right? But, but also perform in the best way I can because I don't need to worry about who's going to think what. I don't need to worry about you know, kind of perceptions that people might have about me because of A, B, and C. I wouldn't have to be worried about my kind of career being hindered by someone not liking me, you know. And 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 I've seen those things as well. I've seen some of those, you know, companies that 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 you know behave in certain ways, and the bosses that they want you to be like them, so they want you to copy them because they see that as the only way to success and 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 whatnot. So it's and that sounds very philosophical, but I'm just not that. I'm me. My teams, you know, are themselves, and and that I really truly believe in the strength of, of diversity of, of being yourself and coming into work and just being relaxed about it, you know, focus on work, focus on results, focus on output, focus on moving things forward rather than worrying about how I dress today. 